parking situation is still really crowded. And um, we're just gonna make a quick trip around here because I'm, I'm packed in pretty tight. I don't wanna block anybody on the way out. But we're at the village. In the background, you can see El, I think it's El Capitan or Half Dome up there. If you look, we are in the village. And up there, there's some sort of other Half Dome or Yosemite Falls. They're up there too somewhere. Now after you park your car and you wait to park your car, then there's another line you get in with your backpack and then, and then, and then you wait to get on a bus, which then drives you further in. And I don't, I don't know that I've got the patience for that and, or the time. Uh, I was just kind of driving through and wanted to do a quick tour. But that's, that's the situation on the summer weekend here in Yosemite. It can be extremely crowded. Although it's very beautiful, as you can see in the background, the, the, the mountains and whatnot are awesome. Try to budget at least a few days to be here, just because the ordeal of getting in here, it could easily take the better part of one day uh, just driving from the Bay Area to get to Yosemite. There is a little info center inside like a yurt, this little yurt thing they've got. And uh, you can pop in and get some info here at the info center. So that's handy. But this is the reality of the line. It's about lunchtime right now. And I'd love to pop in and just get lunch somewhere. I thought that's what I would do in the valley. I just, they used to be able to just drive in and you'd park, they'd camp, and you, there's a place you could buy lunch. But this is, this is very different from in days past. It's gotten way more crowded.